Nine Street Food to try out in Akihabara. Samurai Junjiro Channel. Hi, I'm Samurai Junjiro, born and raised in Japan. In today's video, we'll be exploring Akihabara. From the brand new to classic, we'll try out food from nine stores. This video will help to travel around the places, so stay with us till the end. Now, let's get started. We are here in Akihabara. Akihabara is placed two stations away from Tokyo and Ueno stations, and it's just four minutes rides on train. It's in the different area to Shinjuku and Shibuya. Akihabara is the place with the most electronic stores in Japan. There are numerous shops that handle anime goods too. The station itself is huge with many restaurants within. Atre 2, a department store connected directly to the station, hosts many stores that are very popular to Japanese. Saizeria is definitely one of the top food chain stores. You can enjoy Italian food at a very reasonable price here. Shabuyo, currently on store increase, is one of the tenants here too. You get to try out Shabu Shabu in buffet style and many loves to dine in. Let's start introducing from the picked stores within the station. One of them is located in the eyes of Electric Town Gate and it's called Kau Kau Kitchen. The store first started in 2019 and specializing in dessert made from cheese and milk. They host some unique cream puffs, so let's take a closer look at that. The dough for the puff is different from that of ordinary and it's made with pie crust in milfoil layers. You get to enjoy the crispy textures. It comes with plenty of rich cream made from Hokkaido milk as a filling. You smell the sweet scent of vanilla. It's a dessert with natural sweetness of milk. Next, we'll hop to a store that's very close by to where we are right now. This is Uogashi Nihongichi where you can eat stand-up sushi. It's a favorite place for many since you can eat sushi at a very friendly price. They also host menus to go so you can take back your favorite to hotel and enjoy fresh seafood at your own comfort. Today we wanted to pick up seafood bowl to go. This is combination of fatty tuna with green onion and salmon seafood bowl. The color is looking very vibrant with freshness. It comes with soy sauce, wasabi and chopsticks, so you don't need to get anything extra. Let's pour wasabi and soy sauce over the bowl. Fatty tuna with green onion is so creamy and smooth. Loving that texture coming from the onion. Salmon is very fatty and it melts in your mouth. Slickness from wasabi elevates the flavor of salmon too. Both toppings are perfect duos to the rice. The next store is on the first floor of Don Quixote, hosting many souvenirs and anime goods. Here it is. It's Maruju Seinikuten. The store handles beef skewers and operated by butcher that was founded in 1953. From pork, chicken, tongue, and Kobe beef, you can find countless skewers. We picked out the most selling skewers. The menu is prepared after its order, so you can try out just prepared meat. It's served with sauce finishing. The black pepper in the sauce smells amazing. It's very reasonable for its size. 
it's fatty and juicy, moist and tender too. And let's head over to the neck. What we are introducing next is another frequently bought menu and they are sold in vending machines. It's made by 1949 established meat specialized company called Nikuno Mansei. And the item is this cutlet sandwich right here. From this vending machine, you can get five types of sandwiches. And we are, of course, picking out the most favored one. Once you insert cash, you press the number of your picked menu. You can get it in smaller or a bigger size than this. Let's open it up. The box even comes with a wipe for hygiene. I'm already smelling sweet sauce. The pork cutlet has thickness and the bread is moist. Meat from the cutlet is moderately fatty and very tender. The sauce has been absorbed into the bread and very tasty. The next store is located in the first floor of the mechanics Yodobashi Akiba which is in the eyes of the station. It's Kinakoto Torori hosting Warabi Mochi. Its head store is in Kyoto and famous for serving proper mochi. We picked mochi that came in the smaller size than the ordinary one. It comes in one person suitable sized container so it's just the right portion. This is Tokyo Limited menu and can be bought in its home of Kyoto. Warabi mochi is in almost melty texture and very smooth. You really taste that natural sweetness once you put it inside your mouth. It's sweet enough as it is but with sweet soybean powder and black sugar syrup, it's another level. The two ingredients really elevate the flavor. The sweetness is just pure perfection. You can really enjoy the taste of Japan. We will move four stores next to talk about this store. And it's Gindako with greatest number of stores in Japan. It's said that approximately 1 million Gindako classic takoyaki are eaten every day around Japan. You can get takoyaki in unique flavors other than the sauce so you'd never get bored with it. Although it's highlighted takoyaki, we wanted to pick everyone's favorite dessert. And it's this croissant taiyaki. The dough is made with pie crust that are layered for 24 times and placed in the oven with rough sugar sprinkles. That crispy mouthfeel is super addictive. The filling of sweet red bean paste is made from ingredients of Hokkaido. Its sweetness is on point. Shall we move to next? We wanted to touch on Gaba specializing in onigiri rice balls. Door-made onigiris are definitely highlight, but we picked out another well-chosen menu, and that is soy sauce-based fried chicken. This fried chicken uses rice flour that comes from the rice of onigiri. Its size is big and quite filling. Crispy outside, with juiciness packed inside. The juice is exploding. Let me now cover a ramen store called Hyakunen Honpo. This is yet another store of people's choice with many award-winning achievement. I got ramen that comes in a plastic bowl to go. You can freely choose your flavor and toppings. Order sheet only comes in Japanese, so make a use of this video to pick your flavor and toppings of your preference. You give the sheet with your ticket and served in less than 5 minutes. Cool ramen that comes in a bowl. 
It comes with a lid, so you shake and mix to evenly coat the flavor before you take a bite. It looks like this before you mix it up. How nice to easily pick up authentic ramen to go and enjoy while strolling. We picked marinated egg with fish powder for topping. Egg yolk is medium boiled and extremely creamy. The fish powder accelerates my appetite. It also comes with roasted pork, bean sprouts, bamboo shoots, and green onion. There's so many toppings. The noodles are quite thick. It's chewy and very filling. It doesn't come with soup, but the sauce is rich and noodles are evenly coated. How nice to be able to enjoy authentic ramen to go! Next place is within Akiba Tolim, a mall directly connected with Akihabara Station. We wanted to bring your attention to Square Enix Cafe. You can find character goods section other than cafe too. They host rare and abundant merchandises from Dragon Quest and Final Fantasy. For the video, we picked popular menu to go. This is the last menu that we'll be covering and it's Slime Manju. It's a stuffed bun with its motif being the slime from Dragon Quest. The shape is literally identical and so adorable. Let's try from the white slime manju. The skin is moist and has fluffy feel. How about the filling? It's stuffed with pork fillings. The flavor is rich. The sweet onion and the fat from pork has been absorbed to the outer skin and it's so good. Let me now check on the yellow one. The outside skin is the same, but smells something sweet this time. Enter the filling check. Inside is packed with custard cream. The egg flavor is rich and sweet. That munchy skin and the cream are a great combo. It tastes real in response to its cute appearance. There's still so much to Akihabara than stores that we just covered. It's a lively area and perfect for taking a tour in. If there's a restaurant you'd like me to introduce, let me know in the comments. Please like and subscribe to my channel too. Well, that's it for today. See you in the next video.